has been a way for Dakota Watson to give back to the Aiken community. Coda's Kids Foundation is a nonprofit founded by Watson back in 2012. And I've got his sister here, Amber Watson, to tell us all about the program. And I've got to say, it's so amazing what your brother is doing to give yes. back to the Aiken community because he's quite busy, isn't he, huh? He is. He's very, very busy. All right, so, you know, Dakota, he's quite busy playing for the Denver Broncos. Mm -hmm. He's played for other major teams. But let's talk about this camp, how he's able to give back for these kids who probably would like to follow in his footsteps. Well, the camp is Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, he decided to do this camp because there are a lot of kids that look up to him and they want to play football. And he also have cheerleaders also that are part of the camp. Um, we give them a chance to actually just live a day in the life of a football player and a cheerleader. You get to experience and have hands-on um, experiences with actual NFL players that he flies in every year. Yeah, I know. I was looking at that. You've got Philadelphia Eagles, you know, the Pittsburgh Steelers, yes. Dallas Cowboys. These are some major football players that yes. I think any child would die to learn from if they want to have a future in football. Right. You and know? this year it's free. And all that we're asking is that everyone bring in um, five canned goods so that way we can give back to the Golden Harvest um, Food Bank. So I think the ages also um, are pretty good, 7 to 18? Yes, yeah, 7 to 18. And we do, if there are kids that are younger than 7 and they mm -hmm. really want to be a part of it, we don't turn anyone away. So everyone is still welcome to come. That's really awesome. And it's going to be, like you said, June 18th. Mm -hmm. And I think that's from 8 o'clock until 12. Right, at South Aiken. At South Aiken High School, where he graduated from, yes. right? Yes. South, they can go See, <laughs> guys, if you dream it, you can live it. He's living proof of that. Right. And there's also a lot of other stuff that go along with that. You've got the um, gala that goes and takes place mm -hmm. that night before, and then before you got a golf tournament. Right. And you know, in news, we only have three minutes, so we really can't get all of that in there. But of course, you can go to CodaKids.org. Mm -hmm. You can also check out our website, WJBF.com, for more information. And at last check, there were about 90 spaces available. Right. But we're if it goes over, we still want people to sign mm -hmm. up, and we're not going to turn them away. So still come, even if it says it's fill on the um, website still come. All right. Well, I have a feeling you're about to get a lot more people joining. Yes, we hope so. <laughs> Please come. <laughs> All right. Dakota Watton, sister, right here with me. No, it's so nice to join us. Thank Georgia you. Georgia Carolina semi-pro basketball team hit the court this weekend. We're going to find out if they took home the victory when we come back. It's now 743.